All right, so I'm going to answer this question today. How long does it actually take to see results? How long does it take before you can see your upper chest, before you get the abs that you want? How long does it take? So let me tell you why I hate this question. It's because it comes from an impatient, instant gratification mindset. And the whole mindset of trying to get results as fast as possible, that's where it comes from. But let me give you a rough estimate of about how long it takes to get results. It's going to take years. I know nobody wants to hear that. It takes years. It takes years to build muscle, especially naturally. It's going to take years to build the muscle. And while you're building the muscle, you'll be in a caloric surplus, right? This is if you're starting from skinny. If you're starting from skinny, it's going to take years to build up the habits. It's going to take years to build the muscle. And then once you've gotten to a point where you bulked up, you built some muscle, now you want to go into a cutting phase, all right? So that's going to take a time as well to cut down. And then you might not have as much muscle as you want to, so then you'll bulk again. For me personally, I've been on my fitness journey for 10 years, and it's not something I plan on stopping. It's more of a lifestyle, right? I want, to, I want you guys to start thinking of fitness as more of a lifestyle, not something you're doing just for an end result. Let me read this quote one more time, guys. Let me say this quote one more time. The runner who enjoys running will get further, will run further than the runner who's focused on the end destination. Right. When you're so in love with the end destination, but you're not in love with the process, you'll never make it to the end destination because you won't be in love with the process and you'll keep quitting over and over and over again. I've had a lot of people commenting on my before and after. It's for about five years now saying, like, how long did this take the same person? And it's like, if you started five years ago, you would have been at the goal, you know, already. But since you've been saying how long is it taking every time I say, you know, it, this took four months, but to build the muscle took this long. They're like, ah, oh, that, that, that sounds too much. That sounds like too much. That's the reason you're not at your goals. You're looking for instant results. Listen, nothing worth having comes easy. Nothing worth having comes fast. We all know that you can't even get a bachelor's degree and you can't get it in four days. It takes four years. You know that, you know that going into it. So I want you to know that when you're going into your fitness journey, you're going to make improvements throughout your journey. Like after six months of consistency, you're going to look better. You're going to have more confidence. You're going to have more energy. However, you're not going to be at your end goal, right? You're going to continue chasing your end goal, right? So the question, how long does it take to see results? You're going to start seeing results after six months, right? You'll have the newbie gains after a year. But in order to get to like your goal natural peak, you're going to keep going and going and going. You fall in love with the process when you do this. For me personally, I love going to the gym for stress relief and I like making progress and I just like how the gym actually makes me feel and I like being disciplined, right? And then as far as nutrition, I like eating healthy just because it makes me feel way better and I don't have a lot of the problems that I used to have. I used to have severe digestive problems like gastritis, ulcers, and I know that the way I'm eating right now is preventative, right? So I'm being proactive for my future health as well. So fitness is so much more than just just like uh you know a certain look like if you're just trying to get six-pack abs and that's all you care about yes that may get you started but you're gonna have to fall in love with the process and really want to become the person that can get the six-pack but also maintain it easily you want to become that person another thing i wanted to say is um when people come up to me in the gym and they're like dude like if i had your you know if i had your abs and i was as cut as you i would stop working out that's why you don't have my abs and you're not as cut as me right because you would stop if you got to the end goal. That is not how I think. I think of the next goal, but I also know that just because the habits I've learned and the habits that I've instilled and the habits that I practice day in and day out, I know that I'm I'm gonna have abs just because you know everything I do every single day, I execute every single day and I'm consistent. It's the person I've become. I've become the person that can have the abs and keep them on easily. So bottom line is focus on habits, focus on who you're becoming, right? And focus on becoming the person that you want to become in the future and the results will come. All right. Don't be so fixated on a number on the scale. Don't be so fixated on, you know, looking like one person. Everybody's different. Everybody's journey is different. And anything worth building takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. You've heard all these things, but you don't really think about them like you hear it, but you don't hear it. Right. You need to really understand that the process will take time. Just imagine that. I got someone pregnant, right? And they're like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I got a pregnancy test, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, cool. And I come back two weeks later, and I'm like, where's the baby? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be insane if I said that? We all know it takes nine months, right? So that's the same way the fitness process is. Like, a lot of you guys are like, you know, you do 10 sit ups and then you look in the mirror and you try to see your abs. And it's like, dude, you literally did 10 sit ups. You didn't change your nutrition yet and you didn't give it enough time to happen. It takes time to lose fat, it takes time to build muscle, guys. So be patient, but be consistent. All right. And be relentless. Subscribe for more.